This Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. A top secret naval project is being developed just beneath the surface at the Nanaimo shipyard. The shipyard is working with partners on the East Coast to develop plans for military grade vessels never before seen on open water. The ships would be deployed on covert operations using groundbreaking technology that would make them among the most advanced warships in the world. And they would do it, all of it, without any of us knowing. CTV Scott Cunningham has the story. Workers at Nanaimo's shipyard have been patching holes and fixing dents on wounded ships, not knowing the top secret plans their bosses have been hatching. They have not a, not a clue, not a clue. Until today, there was little indication this work site could soon be creating machine gun toting, state of the art bulletproof naval vessels. This is the kind of technology that, uh, that can deal with terrorist activities and pirates and those types of people. In partnership with the Nova Scotia shipbuilding operation, Nanaimo could soon manufacture mine bending boats like this. Some able to operate via satellite with no one on board. The cloak and dagger project is still in a development stage, but is garnering international attention. Kind of uh, top secret as to the speed it will do, but uh, we're talking speeds in excess of 50, 60 miles an hour. For those watching Nanaimo's growth as a technology hub, a secret revealed signifies a huge step in the right direction. It's one thing to have a company that has a few jobs out of, but if it can become uh, a leader in an area, then of course we can get so much more of the, the businesses around that start to grow from that. Officials at the Nanaimo shipyard have an ulterior motive on taking this secret project public. They want the Canadian government to help them pay to build it. In October, a federal shipbuilding contract was awarded to the West Coast. Some work is expected to give Vancouver Island an economic boost, but there are no plans as of yet to aid forward thinkers trying to build the next small ocean-going war machines. They've been busy with a large ship package. We think that it's time they started looking at the small ship package as well. Our country's Navy has shown interest in the vessels, but so far excitement is strongest from foreign countries, which at this point cannot be named. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanaimo.